It's time. Time to twirl! Huh. Time to twirl! 
thing. will always remember us. the stars from here too <sighs> it's coming to me it's coming to me
have a look. <laughs> Please, I'm busy. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. Come around and have a look. <laughs> Please, I'm busy.
found your weakness. Rules are made to be broken. Time to twirl! Hey. Huh. Hey. Who will it be? Stars will always remember us. Good, you're here. Pom-pom doesn't... 
might know, but it's in the Express! No one knows Akivili's Express better than Pom Pom! There is something strange in here. Pom Pom can feel it. Help Pom Pom look for it. We have to find it! This is the Astral Express. Huh. Perfect. I'm a messenger from the Garden of Recollection. I will be staying on the Express from now on. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you. You're a friendly one. However, I should still explain. Garden of Recollection is an organization that worships the Aeon Fuli. As a messenger for the Remembrance, we surrendered our worldly bodies and traversed the universe in the form of means to search the stars on behalf of Fuli for the most precious memories. Seeing that I'm able to be here, you must have already come to understand the concept of Remembrance and the Garden of Recollection. The memories that you possess have activated a pathway for the Garden of Recollection to make copies and implant me into your thoughts. We can actually just follow you without being noticed. However, the Garden of Recollection believes that you're special. The memories that you possess are extremely rare and precious, and it's very likely there will be even more in the future. That's why I thought it'd be best if I introduced myself to you. I noticed that you've also received the concept of Memo Snatchers. The Garden of Recollection wouldn't want you to mistake us for thieves or crooks. Everything we do is for a higher purpose. I believe we've become acquainted now. <laughs> Some keywords and hints to your question. Herta and Light Cone. When you came in contact with them, the concept of Remembrance, Garden of Recollection, and Memo Snatcher were implanted in you. Madame Herta has a slight prejudice against us, so the Garden of Recollection believes that it'll be best if I provide you with a proper understanding of these concepts. There is actually something that I need, so I'll get right to it. The Garden of Recollection wants to preserve your memories. But don't worry, we won't take it from you. We just want to make a copy of the precious moments. You can see it as a trade between us. This is the Forgotten Hall, created specially to store your memories. We hope that you can visit this place regularly to rekindle your lost memories. The Garden of Recollection will extract the memories they want and give you something in return in the form of matter and light cones. Come, I swear on the memories of my past self that you won't be at a loss for anything. Do you want to enter the Forgotten Hall?
Crash now or crash later? made to be broken. The truth of life and death will be the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Yeah! Time to twirl! <laughs> Here! <laughs> Try that again! What is it? Are you not feeling well?
That's how it is the first time. From now on, all you have to do is enter the Forgotten Hall periodically, and we'll give you an abundant amount of rewards. Um, about me being on the Astral Express. It'd be best if you kept it between the two of us. I won't reveal myself to your companions, so make sure you don't tell them about me, okay? If that's the case, a Garden of Recollection will have to block out their memories. I really don't have a choice. Please don't make me do that. Hmm. Alrighty then. Just step close to the mirror if you ever want to find me. Did you find anything? Someone from the Garden of Recollection is here? On the Express? Mm, seems like the rumors are true. The emanators of the Remembrance don't have a physical body, and only those they allow can see them. The Express is not a place they can just come and go as they wish! We have to kick them out! Yes, I agree. Dealing with the Garden of Recollection is dangerous, and the trade of memories is a shady business. We'll come up with something. Don't worry, Conductor. time we hit the road, passengers. Thanks to the three trailblazers, the activity of the Fragmentum has reached the lowest level, and the readings regarding the status of the Star Rail have returned to normal. Pom Pom will dispatch the Express shortly, and we'll be leaving Yurillo 6. Please be seated and say your goodbyes to this planet.
Yuan Ching. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. Huh. Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> you are not one of them, Jin Yuan. <laughs> Five people, three must pay a price. You are one of them. Hold on. I I'll, I'll be there soon. What did I tell you? He's definitely sleeping in. We trailblazers can go days without sleep. But when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. Anyway, no point wasting our time in the corridor. The conductor wants us to attend a warp navigation meeting. Same old location, apparently. And we can't be late. Let's head over. Oh, by the way. You drew the short straw. It's your turn to wash the coffee cups this week. I can't remember the last time I got such a polite response. The trailblazing of Eurelo 6 is drawn to a close, and the Astral Express must depart for the next planet. Not telling yet. We'll make an official announcement in the meeting, but I'm keeping you in suspense for now. The meeting will start soon. officially begun firstly pom pom wants to congratulate you the nameless for successfully resolving the problems at this stop the express is now able to continue along the star rail the three of us actually pulled it off huh it's time for your conductor <clears throat> that's me to reveal the name of our next stop Long time no see, Astral Express crew. It's Kafka. I came at a good time. You're all here. Every single one. No need for the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, correct? Apologies for interrupting your little get-together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. I'd like you to make a... destination alteration. I've seen your face before, Stellaron Hunter. Even if it was only on a Corporation Wanted poster. They were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. Do you know the figure? Doesn't concern me. Then again, a corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A maniac that claims he can see destiny, leading a bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herta doesn't give out compliments very often. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you... Astral Expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron Hunter. It was nice talking with you. Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person. And we can continue our little discussion. 
Have you guys heard of the Law Fu? The Xianzhou Law Fu? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Xianzhou Alliance. We've heard of it. Hmm. But what you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Sienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happened to show up after the Stellaron burst? Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? No! Why are we listening to her? The Alliance is strong. Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron stealing super specialists. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the Star Rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the Law Fu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship, and over half of the inhabitants will perish. Oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers, you benevolent nameless. Can you really remain indifferent to that? This companion of yours, Blade, he perished too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. <sighs> March. Get done hung. doing here hmm. I gave him the lowdown hey remember what I said okay we're gonna vote against it I'm not gonna take orders from that woman <laughs> seems like the longer I spend in my room the stranger things are when I emerge March told me. If it were one of the other ships, it might have been okay. But I can't go to the Lofu. I'm forbidden from setting foot on that ship. Total interception of any attempt to enter the Dominion is how they chose to put it. So if you're planning on going, can't go with you. I remember the Xianzhou was a sight to behold. Good luck. It's way too much of a coincidence. 
A Stellaron hunter shows up at the site of a Stellaron burst that just happens to be occurring nearby? Does anyone really believe that? Oh, I'm so mad. She just hijacks our communications and then hangs up? So rude. You used to know her, right? Was she always like this? We don't need another amnesiac on this train. Oh yeah, I just spoke to Don Hung. Here's the deal. We've all got to vote against. Trust me, she'll hold a democratic vote. One for you, one for me, one for Don Hung. Three all together. We never go anywhere without a consensus. Are you okay, Don Hung? March brought you up to speed, I assume. <clears throat> I'm fine. And yes, I'm up to speed. Good. In that case, with regard to the matter at hand, let's vote to decide our next move. Our Stellaron hunter claims that a Stellaron burst has occurred on the Sienjo La Fu, and that we're in the vicinity. If we head for the La Fu, we may have the chance to save many innocent lives. However, it's also possible that our Stellaron hunter is lying and using us for her own ends. Neither Welt nor I believe that she's telling us the truth, but we can't just ignore the intel she's given us. So, we're about to hold a democratic vote on whether to set a course for the Sien Zhou. All those in favor, hold out your hand. All those against, keep your arms by your side. Three, two, one. Four against one. Well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Sien Zhou. down and thought about it a bit if it turns out that woman isn't lying then a lot of innocent people are gonna get hurt now's the time for thinking about other people <laughs> <sighs> all right all right i think we're all used to march's modus operandi by now so, Don Hung, you want to stay here? Yes. I'm staying this time. In that case... Welt, ready for a trailblazing expedition? I know you've been itching to get out there for a while now. But make sure you take good care of the two of them. <laughs> Don't worry. Destination Sienjo, here we come! The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Whoa, so that's a Sienjo ship? It looks even bigger than your Relo 6. For the Xianzhou, these ships are their planets. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. Some of those civilizations progress further, constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. The Xianzhou Alliance is one such civilization. I've only glimpsed it a few times, but it's as magnificent as I remember. You okay there? What's with all the lonely nostalgia vibes? <sighs> this is the Astral Express. I repeat, this is the Astral Express. We have arrived in Sienjo territory. Requesting landing permission from ground control. From the bridge, I mean. Welcome to Lawful Skyport. Starskin. 
Please await transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. <sighs> now you know how I feel when you copy me. <sighs> Something's not right. The signal is still repeating, but no one is guiding us into dock. Maybe the Stellaron hunters were telling the truth. It seems like something really did happen to the Sienjo. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how, like, loads of horror movies start? Let's not let our imaginations get the better of us. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Still the automated signal? Yes, it's still on repeat. Ah, there we go. The Jade Gate now opening. On behalf of the Sienjo La Fu. Welcome, guests from afar. Please proceed to dock in accordance with the guidance. Huh? Is this still automated? The signal broke off. Seems that's all there is. We should get going. Himiko, stay vigilant back here on the Express. Relax. I've got Don Hung here with me. <laughs> yes, but I won't be putting my feet up. There's a lot to take care of here on the train. Make sure you're properly prepared before you set off. You need to take extra care on this expedition. I've compiled some intel on the Xianzhou for you. I hope it comes in useful. Before we set off, I need to clarify the aim of this journey with you. The Stellaron Hunters have given us a lot to consider and a lot to doubt, but the most important part of this expedition is... Always thinking with your stomach. What about all the scenic photo opportunities? The Stellaron hunters clearly have ulterior motives. However, knowing what they're all about, and given the focus of Kafka's words, I have no doubt that the Sienjo is dealing with the Stellaron. The Alliance and the Express haven't had any previous dealings, so our arrival might not receive the warmest welcome. But as trailblazers, we're not in this for fame or gain. We just need to do everything in our power to assist the Sienjo and eliminate the source of disaster. Always keep that in mind, and don't forget the way of the trailblaze. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. Yeah! Let's go. Oh, look. It's just containers as far as the eye can see. This area isn't for receiving guests, it's for unloading cargo. Who decided to send us this way? Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. It gives me the creeps. Huh. Ah, oh, stop talking. If there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. Mr. Yang, what should we do? We should start with the person who opened the Jade Gate. If it turns out they're not friendly, then at least they've already made things easier for us. If it turns out they were just doing their job, then we can ask them what happened here. That's Mr. Yang! 
This is child's play for him. He's dealt with all kinds of dangers before. Let's move. Keep your wits about you. Mr. Yang, someone's hurt. Up, up ahead. You're hurt, son. Uh, try not to talk. March, use your six-phased ice to stop the bleeding. Go easy. We don't want to add frostbite to his list of complaints. I'm on it. This area saw fierce fighting only recently. Let's keep searching. There might be other survivors. Up ahead. Please, leave me. There are wounded everywhere. The silver lining is that, based on what we can see, no civilians were caught up in the battle. I'm guessing the Sienjo must have evacuated the port immediately, leaving the soldiers to deal with the crisis. But as for these uh, corroded monsters... Please, leave me. Up ahead. Please, leave me. Careful. We've never seen this kind of life form before. Awaiting orders, Mr. Yang. Stars will always remember us. Keep at it. <clears throat> Miss Tingyun, fall back! They're Mara struck. We've already lost them. from 
the beast. <laughs> Pleasure. But are you thanking us or giving yourself a compliment? Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Make it quick. Huh. Tough luck running into me. <sighs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> this big diamond! It's all yours! <sighs> no manners, huh? huh? Ting Yun, the Mara struck have been repelled, but, but there could be other dangers nearby. The situation is serious. Allow us to escort you back to the Skyfaring Commission. Immediately. Calm down, I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. My name is Ting Yun. I'm the Amicassador for the Lawfu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. May I venture to know the illustrious names of my heroes? Illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Although, there is one thing I don't understand. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown, since none of you are Sienjo residents. May I ask how you came to be here? If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid these Cloud Knights will have to escort you out. Uh, we called for port transfer and got no response, but then someone opened the Jade Gate for us. When we arrived, there was no one to be found, so we started to make our own way through. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the Jade Gate was shut. The Skyfaring Commission has already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. We're telling the truth. You could verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. We, we found it strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. Hmm. You're with the Astral Express. You've heard of us? Indeed I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. The Sienjo has suffered an incident. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. For your safety, you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission and let her decide how to proceed. We caught wind of the incident you mentioned. That's why we're here, Miss Tingyun. To help the Sienjo seal the Stellaron. <laughs> your actions have already revealed your kind hearts to me. Uh, sadly, I can't make you any promises. You're outsiders, and only Madame Yukong has the authority to consider your offer. Well, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted too. Come on now. I'll lead the way.
Found your weakness. will always remember us. Those monsters back there. They were no monsters. Well, those were not to be confused with monsters, benefactors. We call them Mara Struck. Why have we stopped? Don't worry, miss. I have a favor to ask, that's all. Favor? Count me out. What if we do it wrong and you get your cloud cronies to throw us in jail? I shouldn't have doubted you. Please, accept my apologies. Our road ahead is barricaded. Do you see? The soldiers stationed here must have moved these into a roadblock. I'd like to see us try. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. Even with all of us, we wouldn't be able to move one. Not that I'm doubting your skill, but I'd feel terrible if you hurt yourself in the process. If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the Trove of Verdure can be moved around using a control panel. You've already put on quite the show. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the control panel? Should be simple, right? <laughs> 
I knew it. This will be a breeze for you. We just need to pass through here, take the barge to Starskiff Haven, and we'll be safe. You know, you sound sweet. will always remember us. already huh. you mentioned the Stellaron you work for the Skyfaring Commission so I assume you're aware of its destructive power yes I am as an amicassador I've been to many planets and seen my fair share of Stellaron corrosion Keep at it. Huh. 
Reach the end of the story in your own way. already found your weakness found your weakness will always remember us. Are made to be broken. Hey! Who will it be? Time to twirl! Watch this awesome move! Time to twirl! will always remember us. What should I observe today?
A drug it is. It's impossible. I mean, you fucking goddamn squares. already Get ready, and watch your backs. Leave it to me! Get 
found your weakness. Do you know who I am? <laughs> this big diamond! It's all yours! Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, stars? Give these trailblazers your blessing! Rules are made to be broken. Broken. calm until she volunteered to help please take your seats everyone we'll be off right away
should I observe today? Hmm. Oh. Looks good. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, allow me to welcome you to Starskiff Haven. On the Sienjo Lofu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lofu. As the biggest port on the ship, Starskiff Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission, too. You definitely sound like a... uh... What was it again? Oh, Pammy Cassiter. By which I mean, nice speech. That's too kind of you. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven, so I do this kind of introduction all the time. Anyway, we're safe now. Normally, I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first, and report your arrival to Madame Yukon. Palace of Astrum? Right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Skyfaring Commission. Let's hurry, we haven't got much time. I don't mean to rush you, but if Madame Yukong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough, I wouldn't want to be around for the consequences. Sounds scary. I thought you said she was kind-hearted. We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Rest assured, Miss Tingyun, we won't go anywhere. If you can inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. Very well. <laughs> Little Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. I can't keep up with her. Uh, I've spent too long on the bench. Let's catch our breath for a while, huh? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. That might be a little harsh, but she does put her own interests first. She did the right thing by not trusting us initially. We were an unknown quantity to her. As for the rush, uh, my guess is she's just eager to get us out of her hair and further up the chain. It'll be all right. We're not trying to stand in her way. We have nothing to hide from her. <laughs> we didn't have anything to hide in Bellabog either. Not so fast. I need to give you two a heads up first. Our meeting with Madame Yukon won't be without risk. We need to be prepared and take it seriously. She is a top Sienjo leader. Oh, Mr. Yang, do you think this could be Bellabog all over again?
No, the Sienjo Alliance is better than that. But Madame Yukong will definitely have a string of difficult questions for us. Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to Estelaron? Who leaked their information to us? Careless answers mean distrust and potential hostility, which would make things much harder for us. Ah, oh, crud. One of us is gonna blurt something out or get something wrong. I just know it. Ah, <sighs> see? Don't worry. We'll find a way through. Let me do the talking. Come on, take a deep breath. It'll be all right. Still this bike interact with Looks good.
getting late. Where to now? And there it goes. Come around and have a look! <laughs> Please?
Come around and have a look.
It's getting late. Where to now? <laughs> <laughs> 